Now, um, there's a pretty good chance that we all remember what we talked about last Thursday, Mr. President. We talked about Senate File 2, a bill that in many ways was similar to the bill that we discussed today. Uh, that bill, as we all know, limited the governor's executive powers when it came to closing of schools. But it replaced those powers with the ability to make those decisions locally by other accountable elected officials, school boards. Now, I voted in favor of that bill last week, Mr. President. And when I got back to St. Cloud in greater Minnesota, I heard a lot of thanks and a lot of appreciation. But I also heard from Lois. Lois is mad at me, Mr. President. Lois said that I had betrayed my party. And I explained to Lois what I would explain now, which is I don't vote party, I vote my conscience, my community, and quality of argument. And the bill that we heard last week was adequately reasoned. This bill is not. That bill was focused. It was, as we were repeatedly reminded, finely tuned. This bill is not. That bill relied on the accountability of local control. This bill puts the health of working people in Minnesota up to chance. Mr. President, members, I rise today to speak in opposition to this bill because it is capricious and therefore does not safely protect the working people of Minnesota. Now, my first job, speaking of working people in Minnesota, was when I was 14 and a half. I washed dishes in a restaurant, a small diner. I knew the owner of that diner. I knew his daughter. I knew the people that I worked with. I knew the busboys. It was small. We all liked each other. I had absolute faith, and I still maintain that faith, that those people that I worked with would care about my health and would do what was necessary to keep me safe. There are small businesses like that all around Minnesota, as Senator Matthews rightly points out. Many of us have probably had similar experiences where we worked in a place where we were treated like family, or maybe even better than family, depending on the family. We've all had experiences like that, but I bet we've also had experiences where we didn't even know our boss. We didn't even know who was running the business where we worked where we didn't have a close personal connection, where we didn't necessarily know for sure that the people we were working with had our best interests at heart, through no fault of their own. We've all met people. Mr. President, we all know that they make mistakes, sometimes due to ignorance, sometimes due to indifference. And it's true, I think, that in small businesses, we can and should have faith in the people who work in those places to make good decisions about our health, but not all of us work in those kinds of places. We cannot leave the health of working people of Minnesota up to chance and good luck because they happen to be lucky enough to work in a restaurant where the person who owns that restaurant will take care of their care. This bill does not provide for the consistency that is necessary in a context like this. It does not provide for our security or for our faith. I, for one, am much less likely to go out to a restaurant with my family if I know the, the health of myself and everyone who's working there, the person who's going to wash the dishes that I just used, if I know that that health, the health of all those people is, is up to chance, I am less likely to go out to a dinner in a restaurant. It does not have the, the ability to assure the consistency that gives us security and faith. Now, this bill puts this up to the idea of a uh, good faith effort. And I agree that we should have faith that most people want to do something like that, Wh whatever, frankly, whatever that means, which is still unclear to me. Um, but a good faith effort is cold compensation, is cold comfort when you get sick. Now, when this bill came up before jobs, we had a spirited discussion of it. And I, I apologize if I'm imprecise. I don't remember the discussion verbatim. But I do remember Senator Bobby Joe Champion asking a question of the author of this bill, Senator Matthews. And he said, what in this bill will protect the health of working Minnesotans? What in this bill will help people stay safe? Are you open to considering amendments that would make this bill protect the lives and the health of working Minnesotans? And to paraphrase, Senator Matthews' response was, Eh, maybe. Now, we cannot 
treat the working people of Minnesota as an afterthought. They should be at the center of our care and the core of our work. And so, Mr. President and members, I urge us to vote against this, this, this bill as currently constructed and for all who care about the working people of Minnesota to stand up and reject this bill as well. Thank you, Mr. President.